Previously on Pokemon Sword, what's the meaning of this picture? Hmm. Probably the end to the legend? Perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep? What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Kindred? Think we can pull off a real, a real heroic battle? Not. As in now? Haven't even heard my Parsi, but whatever. Sure. Razor Shell will always remind me of Oshawott. <laughs> I still can't even beat you, my true rival. But I think I'm starting to see the light. And you got. Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your Rosam bike on the water too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts, allowing it to travel along the water surface. Just for you. Mm, thank you. This bike can be combined with a Pokemon Rotom to not only do a turbo boost but also run on the water. Wow. Hello YouTube, we are now going to resume our journey in Route 9. Hopefully we can make it to Spike Moth this episode. As you can see here, it's still a long way to go. So let's go. As well see what this route is in store for us. There's a trainer there. Hmm. Okay, let's battle. Let's battle first. Battle her. So your Pokemon is Toxapex? Toxapex. If I remember correctly, this Pokemon is actually... Really bulky. Basically protect. Okay. Another one? Okay, it failed. Wonder if it's gonna use it another time. Okay. Level 43 Gyarados. As you can see, he has really high space. Really high attack stat. Yeah, those really high attack stat. Hmm. Outer spike mode. Hold up. Wanna see if there's any item here? Oh wait. I think you already you already went to this area.
I'm just checking. Just checking because I don't want to miss any item. Already shook that very tree. Already battled this trainer. Okay. Only way is down below. Only way is to go south. There's a bunch of new Pokemon here. Okay, what's this? The right is Spike Moth. Let's explore the area here. Scope Lens, okay. Boosts the holder's critical hit ratio. What is this? Double battle? Double battle. Hmm, Gyarados and... Colossal. Wait. First and foremost, let's have Colossal learn Rock Slide. It'll be very useful in doubles. Uh-huh. First... TMs. TMs, TMs. Rock Slide. We are going to replace Smackdown. Okay, this should be a good combination. Music crew, Owen and Andrea. Rock to Sandwich. Didn't see the first one. The evolved form of um I forgot the name of the Pokemon. The Pokemon that we got from the Pokemon Nursery. This is its evolved form. Toxtricity. Okay. Yardus first. We will need to eliminate Toxtricity first. Colossal, um... You need... Okay, let's see. If Gyarados can sweep Toxtricity in one hit, nope! That's gonna be bad. Oh boy. Okay, it hit Colossal instead of Gyarados, weird. Pretty weird. Okay, it hit both. Rocks, the move Rock Slide in Dobos is a lot better if your Pokemon is faster than the opponent. Just to make them flinch. Mm -hmm. It's even more annoying if two of your Pokemon have Rock Slide. Let's go with Ice Fang and Flame Charge. Avoid the attack. What's the accuracy of Ice Fang again? 90? I think around 90 or 95. Got 10,000 Poké Dollars from those two. Okay, let's see what berries can we get from this tree. Choppo? Okay, so out of four berries. Salak berry. Nah, that should do it. Route 6 tunnel, if I remember correctly. Or at Route 9 rather, Route 9. Route 9. Okay. Hey! Why does Spike Moth have its shutter down? Are they having a party in there? Who knows? Hmm. Can we get any item from people here? Gym leader of Spike Moth, Pyre, specializes in dark type Pokemon. He's a decent bloke though. Shutters down? What? What do you mean? So no one can enter?
Hmm, let's battle this guy. Although this isn't, the, this, this isn't the right way to spike mode, but let me just check if we can get any items. Jaw blade. Level 44. Higher level versus Gyarados. Anyway, the Intimidate should prove to be useful because, as far as I know, that Pokemon specializes in attack stat. Night Slash. Okay. As long as, as long as it doesn't deal a critical hit damage, we should be good. Another Night Slash. Don't sleep now, Gyarados. Probably want to take a break from all these battles. It's the eight Pokemon. I don't think this guy is a grass type. If I remember, it's fighting type. Fighting type. Ball cop. Doesn't matter since Gyarados is faster. Let's just finish it with Waterfall. Still have another. Wait, how many Pokemon do you have? Ultigist. If I remember correctly, this Pokemon is a Ghost type. Or Dark type. Okay, Ghost type. And we have Gyarados at level 44 now. Hurricane! I don't remember this guy being able to learn Hurricane, but let's see. Uh, 70 accuracy and. Wait, nope. Actually, I can't let Yardos learn Hurricane because it's categorized as special attack move, not attack move. So, never mind. Okay, Orbital wants to learn the move Calm Mind. This will actually increase Orbital's bulk, so. Time to remove Light Screen. Besides, I can let him learn Light. I can let him. I can let it learn light screen again if ever. Let's go to the move reminder. Hm, got 17,000 from this guy. That's a lot. That's a lot. 44, 44, 44. I think it's time we send back Mr. Rhyme and Indred now. But how about the item? I'm with that coin would go to Kindred No and leftovers to Mr. Rhyme. Shell Bell to Perserker. Hey! A brilliant little Mragnar is the best. She gives me berries that she's found when we come together. Do your Pokemon do that? Hmm, no. Maybe I just don't I just don't spend enough time camping with my Pokemon. Anyway, let's check. Check what's in the camp. What Pokemon in the... Oh, Alolan... Alolan Meowth! There's an Alolan Meowth! <laughs> Come on, Meowth! Alolan! <laughs> Play for a bit. Hello. Hello there! Okay, that should do it. Gain a bit of experience points. 350 from Kindred. No. For Kindred. No. Oops, 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 oops. There's a TM there. Almost missed it. Assurance. Oh, wait, what? Okay, there's a path here. What? 
Yep, I already know that. Mm. What's... Safety goggles. These goggles protect the holder from both weather-related damage and powder. I just accidentally found this path. <laughs> okay, let's see what berries can we get from this tree. Grepa. Farm egg tomato. A Pokemon already? This is the third shake. Another wild redent. Any other Pokemon from the berry trees besides it? Can we run from this guy? Okay. No, my pomic berries. Hmm. Whatever. I mean, there's something going on in Spike Moth, so. Let's see. Let's see what the commotion is all about. So how are we going to enter? I can't enter Spike Mooth, so I've just been hanging around here this whole time. No one can challenge the Dark Type leader like this. What's with the gate being shut? How am I supposed to get the gym badge now? Oh, Marnie. What are you doing there? Uh-huh. Oh, what? Mark. Okay, who is this guy? Bergmite. Bergmite. Can we catch this guy? Well, it's not hailing. So definitely possible. But first... See if it can withstand the rock tomb. Okay. That's what I needed. Critical HP. Okay, I don't have anyone to inflict sleep to opponent. Oh well. Try catching him with a Pokeball. I doubt this will work. If it does, then... Okay, I'll take that. So close. That's gonna miss. Let's try. I think it's possible to catch this Pokemon in a Pokeball. Just a Pokeball. Anytime now. Okay. Good. Got Bergmite. Swords Dance. Sure. Hmm. It's time I remove Focus Energy. Better benefit from Swords Dance since it increases the attack by two stages. Ice type Pokemon. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I will add it to my party? Let's see. There's an item here. What is this? Three guard specs. Okay, there's a hidden path here. How do you know about it, Marnie? I was born near, so I know another way in. If you want to get into the town, how about I show you the way? But, you're my rival, so you'll have to beat me in a battle first, got it? Seriously? Wait, wait. I need to get ready, Marnie. <laughs> I'm not running away from you. Silly. Uh, fine, I think. You can go with Kindred, no. It's battle. And all of a sudden, we have the team yell behind her. I respect you as my rival and all that, but I got too much at stake to go around losing now. Because it's your hometown? Life hard. Dark type. She has four Pokemon. I've powered up a whole lot. I'm gonna beat you lot into the ground, got it? That's the spirit, Marnie. Let's just raise your shell. Ooh, ooh, trying to set up against me. 
This is not good. Okay, defense fell. Torment. Wait, uh-huh. Okay. Takes effect after it is used. I mean, basically what Torment does is you are not allowed to use a move consecutively. Like for example, in this turn you use Razor Shell and then you plan on using Razor Shell again next for the next turn. You can do that. You need to select another move. Another Dark type Pokemon. Fighting type. Fighting type. Fighting Dark. Uh... Who's our best bet against this guy? Wheezing. Let's see what moves it's gonna use. Swagger. Still thinking about camping Wheezing. Cripple it with Willow Wisp to reduce its attack stat. Scary face. Okay. It'll be able to move first now. I'm gonna go with Strange Steam. Because Fairy against Dark is super effective. Right? Right. There was no need to inflict a burn. Toxic Rook. Poison Fighting Type. Let's just keep on using Willow Wisp against this Pokemon. That actually hurts. Neutral damage because Poison is super, super effective against Fairy. And Wheezing is part Poison, so... I mean, if your Pokemon is pure Poison and the opposing Pokemon attacks you with a Poison type move, then it will only inflict. It will inflict a not very effective damage, but since Wheezing is part poison and part fairy, it does a neutral damage. Hmm. Strange steam. Strange stream. Wait, strange steam. Strange steam. <laughs> so I will finally hit. Oh boy! That's not good whizzing. Need to do better than that. Unfortunately, I don't have pain split for whizzing. Venus shock. Mutual damage again. Oh boy! You're in a bad position right now, whizzing. You're in a bad position right now. You need to clear that confusion. Oh boy. You got unlucky there. Anyway, great job. Still a great job. Time for Mr. Rhyme. At first, let me cast Reflect. Damn, another, another one. Okay, good. Success. You should be able to take down Toxic Rogue with one side beam. Since it's a poison and fighting type, psychic moves deal four times the damage. Nice! <laughs> Down to our last Pokemon. As expected of my rival, you really know how to get me riled up. More Peko.
Ivy must know effect because this Pokemon is a dark type. Hmm, I guess we should, should just go with Icy Wind. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. I can't use Icy Wind consecutively. Well, we can go with Slack Off and then back to Icy Wind. And it changed its form. Yep. Can't use the same move twice in a row because of the torment. Let's just use Slack Off. Store our HP back to full. And to be honest, this isn't necessary. But we have no choice. Bite. That actually hurts. I mean, without Reflect. That would almost that would almost faint Mr. Mime. Mr. Rhyme. Keep on saying Mr. Mime. <laughs> Still not used to Mr. Rhyme. Okay. Good job, Mr. Rhyme. Freeze dry. Okay. We will now replace Ice Wind. Freeze Dry will also prove to be useful against water types. What's with that? My Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do their thing at all. Ugh. <laughs> you did your best, Marnie. My partner Morpeko has been interested in you and your strength, and I think I get it now. But I've got everyone in Spike Moth supporting me. I'm definitely gonna get all 8 gym badges so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. Anyway, I promised I'd show you a way in, so follow me. Hmm, I heard a different Pokemon. I think. Oh, it's them again, okay. And we are in Spike Moth. Hmm. I guess this is basically where Team Yell resides in. Anyway, new area. You know the drill, guys. We're gonna explore it first before challenging the gym leader. Well, you made it here, so I guess there's nothing to be done. You better be ready to face spires. Any traders made it all the way to Spike Moth's got the right wick. Look at them. You. Don't you dare make Marnie's Marpeko cry, okay? 